My name is Nafemi Claudia School, the leader and chairperson for Unity Party. We just don't get the very first town hall meeting here in London. And I really want to tell the one that we can thank you, the one that we, a lot of people are actually logging online for support and for witness the program. We tell them Boku Boku thank you as well. What's in the reason for this? One, we want to introduce Unity Party to um, diasporans, and we want to talk about the way forward. Um, what did not happen with the election cycle for letting all repeat. So who are the people we will for all accountable? And me they say, we councillors, we MPs, we get for begin for hold them accountable. Then they pass laws that way they affect me, where they impact me. Some positively, a lot negatively. So we want for no other than be. Who are you? What you they do? How you they secure we? If we now we you they represent, we won't go to the village, we won't go see where you from? What you don't do yonder? What kind of reputation you get now? This is where you come out. We must put them on the spotlight for let them begin for do the right thing. I mean, some of the things that we then they pass, we question it. We are unhappy about it. But it's as if we the people, we the people, we're not get voice. We're not get say. We are not consulted. We are not even informed. Pass with us here, you know more now. Eh, they don't pull jury uh, and trial. Eh, they don't pass this. So we, they don't give you PRO. No, so we cannot move forward with that system and we're not gonna wait until a next election election cycle come around, now that ending now one pool voice, now that ending now we want act. Another issue where we um, talk about now is diaspora voting. Now we they see appointments to deputy ambassadors and high commissioners in all the countries it seems in the globe. So if you think to say we forget embassy day, we forget high commissioners and day, and deputies costing the country a lot of money, then that means to say we get people and day. And if the, that place is important enough for you to send an ambassador and send a deputy, it is important enough for them people and day for vote. So when they look at diaspora voting, and me they urge diaspora them for begin for exercise a lot, put a lot of pressure for letter able for vote. Not in order the constitution, we say diasporans cannot vote. All it is now for let the government put the structures in place. So if we have all these people that we are hiring and paying out of the consolidated fund, let them work for Sahelians. When you look, the amount of money where they come out, England, America, foreign countries, and they go alone, it's a lot. And I think as Sahelians, we acknowledge them, we appreciate them, we thank them for all the money where they remit, and we can do so by giving them a say in how we are governed.